You are one of the fast and loose residents of the Wild West, and your honour has been besmirched. Maybe a drunkard got mud on your brand new petticoat, perhaps a travelling salesman sold you some snake oil, or was it that the mayor said some less than savoury things about your mother? Whatever the reason, there's only one solution, and it's mighty close to high noon, so prepare to draw your iron and reclaim your honour. This is Western Press, I'm Tiger, and this is a Hyper Review. Western Press is an experience set back in a time where the duel abides, and if you think maybe I'm having trouble coming up with a genre to slot this into, then you'd be correct, because I've never played a game quite like this. Even the Steam tags are a vague mix of action and typing, which is not entirely accurate, but also probably the best anybody is going to come up with. But please don't labour under the delusion that this is a bad thing. The mechanics of this are so unique that I don't think I've ever seen them done before. At least, not in this combination. The basic premise here is that you live in the Wild West, and someone has slighted you in some unknown manner. Of course, the only way to settle this dispute is in a pistol duel, but in order to be the fastest gun around, you have to input a sequence of 10 symbols with both speed and accuracy. By default, this involves typing out a word, such as tumbleweed, using your keyboard, but players can change this to a string of gibberish letters or simply directional arrow inputs in the options. And for a real challenge, players can instead fire by memorising an ever-increasing input string instead. The player is also not limited to using the keyboard as their input device, with Xbox controllers allowing for duels around button inputs, and dance mats letting you see who has the fastest feet in town. Given that the core experience of Western Press is about reaction times and coordination, this is going to inherently have issues for some players. Thankfully though, there's a single player mode for not only learning the mechanics, but also for improving your ability to quickly scan, pass and input the killer combos, and these stages can be repeated to your heart's content, so players can use this as a tool to build these skills as they please. The AI difficulty in this mode increases on a gradual curve, so players should never feel that moment where they want to throw their controller and yell a swear at their monitor, even though the last stages are brutally difficult. There are a large number of options available to customise Western Press to your liking, although relatively few of them are designed to make the experience more accessible for players, which is a real shame. There are no subtitles for deaf or hard of hearing players, excepting in the opening cutscene, and although the player's avatars only make gibberish noises and talk in speech bubbles, the narrator has quite a few lines that some players are missing out on. There is also only one language, English, available, although a language option does exist, so it is likely that this will be added to in future updates. This having been said, there are some options which go beyond simply tweaking your graphics or volume levels. Pleasingly, there's a maturity filter, as well as individual options to skip content that players see frequently, such as the opening taunts and the results screen. It's also great to see that each option has a tooltip that explains precisely what changing it will do, which is a good start to making the experience more accessible. The characters you can choose to represent you in your duels come from a pleasantly diverse lineup, and it represents the demographic of the Old West quite broadly, although some of the depictions are unfortunately stereotypical. There's a good mix of gender presentations in characters, as well as a skeleton and a robot, and a number of different races are presented as well, although, again, the depiction is somewhat like you'd see in media such as that TV series, Deadwood. My personal experiences in playing Western Press were overwhelmingly positive. I first saw it at PAX Oz this year, and it quickly became obvious that although there is a single player mode, playing this with friends is much more satisfying. It offers a knockout style tournament mode for up to 16 players, and you can sub in bots for humans if you really want. Because only two people compete in a round, you can play it either locally or online, but being able to trash talk my friends in person before dancing my way to victory was definitely a way to keep my ADHD interested. I did find that the ADHD brain's tendency to jump to conclusions made the spelling input somewhat difficult in circumstances where words such as thermalize were spelt using the American standard, with my muscle memory insisting on using an S or a Z was called for. 
I'm not certain, but I felt as though sometimes I might have been typing too quickly for the input buffer, which led to a series of incorrect entries. Interestingly, Western Press gives a time penalty to players for giving incorrect inputs, which is, for me, a positive, because it stops people just mashing the buttons on their controller in the hopes that this method would be more effective. If you enjoy testing your reaction speed, memory and spatial awareness while being pitted against your friends, then Western Press is right up your alley. It'd be great to play at a party, especially if you had a couple of dance mats, as long as you don't mind a bit of violence on screen, and even that can be toned down. This is the kind of thing that can turn a little bit of friendly competition into a petty rivalry that lasts for generations. But it's worth it, and it's not like I'm going to be having any kids anyway. Okay, I love you, bye bye.